Howdy folks, Tex Grebner with Tex Grebner Outdoors. Perfect wind, sharp broadheads. Let's head to the woods. We're going deer hunting again. As I made my way to my tree stand, I prayed to God for light feet and true aim, and that I might live in glory. Every day of hunting is exactly the same. But every day of hunting is just a little bit different. Or so I say, and I say it because it is true. You can sit in the same tree stand over and over, and you will never have a day that is nearly the same as any other day. The world is alive if you choose to live in a living world. Experiencing the sights, sounds, and smells that are all around you if you choose to take them in. I sat listening to the birds as usual. The occasional squirrel would draw my attention as there is nothing quite as loud as silence in the wilderness. I scanned the underbrush as far as my vision would allow, listening to the train whistles as they passed along the old Santa Fe tracks, and meditating occasionally being interrupted by a noisy crow. Off in the distance I could hear the turkeys chirping, and occasionally I would hear the ducks on the creek. It is amazingly difficult to sit still and quiet as we are very social creatures. But when you strip away our humanity down to its most basic levels, you find something primal, savage, and beautiful. And this is what I enjoyed sniffing the wind, trying to make my weak human senses convey as much information as they could to my body and mind. Every twig snapping was a new stimulus. The wind was perfect, absolutely perfect. It was still as death but the woods were very much alive. Not too long ago, I had seen a doe at the edge of my vision pass between these trees, taking a different trail, and I had heard her jump the fence into the soybeans, but I know from experience that a stalk over open ground is a waste of time. And so I hoped, even though the squirrel rut was on, that the Illinois whitetail rut would soon follow, because where there is a doe, there's bound to be a buck. And still I sat, watching the birds pick spiders from between the bark of the trees, still hearing the ducks on the creek, and occasionally hearing the turkey. Staring into space, focusing upon one goal. Listening and fully enjoying the stimulus overload that is the wild places of the earth.
there is nothing that can compare to the excitement of a hunt. You have no reason to be bored in the woods, and I sat with my bow at the ready as the magic hour approached. Scanning the trees and listening to the crows. The temperature was dropping and the sun was falling as well. As the light changed, my excitement heightened in hopes that the wily whitetail would make himself known. But as the owl hooted in the distance and the cattle mooed off in the pasture, the wind picked up a bit, but the woods still were calm. The magic hour was fast ending, and I still sat in marvel of what I was able to experience. Every twig crack, every leaf rustle, if you are a true hunter, will make your heart race. And the excitement of the ambush awaited me. But as the shooting light continued to dwindle, I came to the conclusion that I would be leaving the woods yet again with nothing but memories of the experience and footage to share with you. I waited until the last of the shooting light before I removed my arrow from the string and enjoyed a tree stand sunset and twilight. Well guys, Sometimes, even when everything is perfect, you still come home empty-handed. But I got a heart full of memories. Anyways, ain't such a thing as a bad day of hunting. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over to LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrabner Outdoors. I'm going to go howl with the coyotes.